The Eternal Cylinder is difficult to describe. It certainly shares similarities with other games, like some light survival mechanics, open world exploration, scavenging, and ball rolling. I also see elements of Spore and Luigi's Mansion. All these disparate pieces come together to form something truly unique, and something you'd never see attempted outside of indie development. In the end, the Eternal Cylinder is a satisfying blend of exploration, experimentation, and group survival. It was always heartbreaking when a longtime member of my family with useful mutations got killed. These moments feed directly into the game's message, that the many, if nurtured, can always defeat a singular evil, no matter its size. It's because this concise message is told not only through traditional means, but also gameplay mechanics that truly makes the Eternal Cylinder a one-of-a-kind experience.